everyone, this is MJ. I'm so excited you've joined me for my countdown to Christmas featuring MJ's Merry Minis. I've designed 25 Christmas ornaments and each one will release from December 1st through to December 25th. And you'll be able to find the pattern for free on my blog on the ornaments release day. Now I'm hosting a crochet along over in my Facebook community group and the link will be in the description box if you want to join in and post your picture. If you'd rather not wait for all 25 ornaments to release, I've decided to put together a beautifully designed ebook featuring all 25 crochet ornaments. You can purchase the ebook through the link in my description box. Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple little wreath ornament that you can use as a present topper or hang on your tree. So if you would like to hang it, you can just use a metal ornament hook. I've used some twine to go through and tie my wreath, so you'll need a yarn needle. And I've used Wool of the Andes worsted weight yarn. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you in camel heather just so it's easy to see, but this one is in shire heather or you could use noble heather or a nice green color, or really you could make your wreath in any color you want. The crochet hook that I'm using is a four millimeter G crochet hook, and this is a furls streamline wooden hook. So to begin, we'll make a slip knot and put that on the hook and we're going to chain out 51 chains. So I'm just gonna work my chains off camera and then I'll meet you back. So now that I have my 51 chains, I'm gonna work in the second chain from the hook. So here's your first and your second, and we're gonna work three half double crochets. In the next chain, we'll work three half double crochets. The next chain, three half double crochets. And we're just gonna continue in this manner across the entire chain. Okay, so for every chain, we're just adding three. And this is going to make a long curly cue. So I am gonna work that off camera and then I'm gonna meet you back up to show you how to help twist this to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so I've worked across all my chains and you can see it's kind of a little bit messy. The first part did start twisting good, but then as I got going, it kind of went a little wonky. So all you wanna do is just manipulate it to curve. Okay, so let's trim. Pull that through. So you want it to have a nice shape. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is take my yarn needle, I'm gonna get some twine here. And I am going to push it through the center. And what you can do is just adjust how you want the wreath, how far apart you want it to be before you tie it. 
I'm just going to cut Now what we need to do is deal with these ends, but we want to actually bring this and sew it together. We want to bring it together. Sewing it together at the back here. You just want to make sure that it looks like it doesn't distort those pieces. You want it to still kind of come in that nice circle. So that looks pretty good. Then you can just weave in these tails to get them hidden. and then weave this tail as well. So now you can tie in a nice little bow here like I've shown with this one, or here's an alternative. I just have some small wooden beads. Now also make sure that depending on where these strands are, you wanna make sure that they come up through the top. So you may need to reweave if it's pulling from the wrong location. So you can just take your yarn needle and just thread on some beads. So you can really put as many as you want. And then with this option, you could just hang this from the tree like this. And you could still add a little bow if you wanted to the front of that. Just use your glue gun and just attach that right here. I kind of like the look of this. I think it looks really cute. So all you would need to do now is just give that a tie so that you can hang it. Okay, so if you've made yourself a little bow, you can just take a glue gun, just put a little dab of glue, and just attach it right there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Join me with my Merry Mini collection. I'll be releasing a new little mini ornament every day up until Christmas for the month of December. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.